Good morning, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel. As I continue on my part series, the week that was college football history review, the 1975 college football season. This is week 11 of the games that were played on November 15th, 1975. Let's get into it. We're going to start with number nine, Notre Dame. They lost to Pittsburgh 34 to 20. It was Tony Dorsett's fabulous show in Pittsburgh at speedy and shifty ace race for 303 yards. Two touchdowns rushing and caught touchdown pass. After only four carries, Tony Dorsett had an amazing 151 yards and a touchdown. Pittsburgh owned. Pittsburgh owned. A 14 10 lead for good as Notre Dame dropped its first game in series in 12 years. Despite Having nearly 16 minute time advantage, on the other hand, Speedy Dorsett needed very little time to break off his big plays because the Irish had led 10 7 early at quarterback as quarterback Rick Slager converted kickoff fumble by Pitt wide receiver Gordon Jones into a one yard touchdown dive. Now, Dorsett would crack career 4,000 yard uh, barrier, uh, busted away for 71 yard scoring romp moments later. Miami beat Florida State 24-22. The Canes answered late Florida State rally with a 29-yard field goal by kicker Chris Dennis that came within 13 seconds. Having scored touchdowns in each of the game's first three quarters, Miami entered the final quarter with a 21-6 lead. The Seminoles then scored a touchdown on a one-yard run by tailback Woody Thomas for quarterback Clyde Walker through two-point conversion pass to tight end in Ed Beckman to pull within 21-14. Now, FSU defensive tackle Billy McPhillips then recovered from by Miami quarterback Carrie Baker to set up the blistering 31-yard touchdown run by fullback Larry Key to pull home team to within a single point. Going for 22-21 lead, Florida State's Walker completed go-ahead conversion pass to wide receiver back Mike Schumann. Hurricane soon took advantage of a miserable 17-yard punt by punter Billy Bill Dooley to go 29 yards to winning field goal. Next, Florida beat Kentucky. 48-7. Gators were never challenged, grabbing a 27-0 lead at halftime behind two touchdown passes by quarterback Don Gaffney. Florida totaled 487 yards with 309 yards on the ground behind a host of fleet backs. The Gators sub halfback Willie Wilder romped with seven, catch seven carries for 78 yards, while halfback Tony Green caught 19 yards touchdown pass and ran for touchdown for 10-yard touchdown. Wildcats gained 320 yards with 75 yards coming on fourth quarter drive, capped by fullback Rod Stewart's three yard run. Mississippi State beat Louisiana State 16 to 6. The tone of the game was set early when Mississippi State tailback Walter Packer, who became the first Bulldogs player to top 2,000 yard career rushing, running for 85 yards for the opening score. Suffering from five turnovers, the Tigers fell behind 10 13 to nothing at halftime. It could not answer until third quarter, so quarterback Pat Lyons then put LSU on board with two-yard touchdown run. But kicker Mike Conway missed extra point. He also missed two field goals. And conversely, Mississippi State kicker Kenny Jordan booted three field goals to tie SEC record with 13 on the season. Headback Terry Rubisky rushed for 90 yards to lead the Tigers. Next, Oklahoma beat Missouri 28-27. Oklahoma was ranked number six. Missouri was ranked number 18. So this is about uh, two top 20 teams. And Oklahoma won 28-27. The Sooners prevented a second straight upset as halfback Joe Washington ran 71 yards to, to a touchdown on a fourth and short and followed it up with winning two-point conversion run. The Tigers, who had scored 27 straight points to wipe out early 20-0 halftime lead, 20-0 lead by OU, had a chance to late victory, but kicker Tim Gibbons Missed a 40 yard field goal with 102 left to play. Gibbons had missed his first of extra point in 31 attempts at the final Tigers score. Two yard fumble run by a split back, Randy Gassart, Rosart, with 535 left. The Sooners had built a 20 point lead at halftime in the first half behind unbalanced offensive line that had Tigers scrambling to adjust for second half.
San Jose State beat San Diego State 31 to 7. San Diego State enjoyed headlines for PCAA in 1975, but it was Spartans earning Crown's Conference crown with upset. San Jose won with defense that allowed no points, but scored on two interception touchdown returns. Safety all in 22 point fourth quarter. Trailing 9 7 Aztecs quarterback Craig Penrose, second in NCAA passing, had thrown interception returned 53 yards by defensive back Gerald Small for touchdown. Penrose moved team again, only to throw end zone picks at Small, which eventually was converted into a 28 yard touchdown run by tailback Rick Kane, 144 yards rushing. Near game's end, San Jose State linebacker Vance Tops scored on 22 yard interception return. Special teams added safety on following kickoff return. San Diego State's touchdown came on first quarter block punt recovery and end zone by cornerback Ken Hinton. And that concludes the look at week that was, the week that was, College Football Season Review, the 1975 College Football Season for week 11, November 15, 1975. Look at the AP polls, November 17th, number 20, Maryland, number 19, Arkansas, number 18, Missouri, number 17, Pittsburgh, number 16, Miami, Ohio. 15, Georgia, 14, UCLA, California, 13, Florida, 12, 11, Arizona, Penn State, 10, 9, Colorado, number 8, Arizona State, number 7, Oklahoma, 6, Texas, Alabama, 5, Michigan, 4, Texas A&M, 3, you got Nebraska, number 2, you got number 1, Ohio State. So that concludes the look at the week that was, college football history review, the 1975 college football season for November 11th. Excuse me, November 15th, in 75, week 11. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Do a video on this matter too tomorrow. Till then, talk to you soon.